My name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist with a background in endodontic dental assisting, here to talk about root canal myths. Myth number one, root canals trap toxins. This common myth about root canals is the belief that they trap toxins within the tooth leading to systemic health issues. This misconception suggests that the toxins sealed within the treated tooth eventually spread throughout the body and cause illness. However, this belief is unfounded and lacks scientific evidence. The whole point of root canal treatment is to remove the infected pulp tissue from within the tooth, disinfect the root canal system, and then seal seal the space to prevent recontamination. The procedure effectively removes the source of infection and prevents its spread to surrounding tissues or throughout the body. Simply said, root canals remove the infection. They don't create an infection. There was a documentary on Netflix spreading this root canal myth, but it was removed shortly after its release due to the lack of scientific evidence. The American Association of Endodontics, American Dental Association, and the American Association for Dental Research all explained how the documentary was not based on facts and how there was a lot of correlation without causation happening. Most of the claims made in the documentary were not supported by robust scientific evidence and often relied on anecdotal cases rather than comprehensive studies. Myth number two, root canal treatment is a painful treatment. So a tooth that needs a root canal can be painful because again, it's infected. So you need the root canal treatment to remove the infection and remove the pain. It's not the root canal treatment causing the pain, but the treatment is what makes the pain go away. Now, maybe you're one of the lucky ones who needs a root canal and you're not currently having pain on that tooth yet. That's great, that means they caught it before it caused you any pain. And again, don't worry, the root canal treatment itself will not cause you pain. It will remove the infection so you won't get pain in the future. Regardless, the treatment itself during the appointment, so when you walk into the appointment, whether your tooth hurts or not, due to modern technology and numbing anesthetic, you won't experience pain during the procedure because you'll be numb. They will numb you up prior to the root canal treatment, making sure you are comfortable. And if you don't feel comfortable, let the dentist know right away. So then they can give you more numbing anesthetic as needed, as much as you need to feel comfortable. Myth number three, if your tooth doesn't hurt, you don't need a root canal. Like we just mentioned, there are times a tooth can need a root canal treatment when there is no pain currently present. If so, again, that means they were able to catch it before your infected tooth were to give you any pain. Another scenario is maybe Maybe you had pain in the past, but now the nerve has died, so you aren't experiencing pain anymore, but you still need a root canal because infections don't go away on their own. Just because pain has subsided, it does not mean your tooth cured itself. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that, and the pain and or inflammation will return. I've seen it where someone turns down a root canal. They say, no, they don't want it because they felt their tooth got better on its own. We tried to explain that it did not get better on its own and how there's still an infection present. A few months later, they came back with a full face of inflammation. These are the scariest cases, right? Because nobody wants an infection on their face that close to their brain. So the moral of the story, if you were told that you need a root canal, get the root canal to avoid unnecessary pain, unnecessary swelling, and risk of infection spreading to other parts of your body. Myth number four, extractions are better than root canals. It's best to keep your natural teeth whenever possible because nothing artificial can fully match their look and function. That's why if your dentist recommends a root canal, then you should consider the root canal. Root canals are often very successful and many treated teeth last a lifetime. On the other hand, replacing a pulled tooth, an extracted tooth with a bridge or an implant takes more time and oftentimes more money in the long run. In addition, extractions and tooth replacements can often affect surrounding teeth and tissues as well. I do have a video all about the differences between extractions and root canals, pros and cons of each, which I will link below if you'd like to learn more as well as my tooth replacement options video for additional information. And lastly, myth number five, root canals cause cancer. This is not true. This false claim comes from outdated and flawed research done nearly a century ago, long before modern medicine understood the real causes of many diseases. There is no scientific evidence linking root canal treatments to cancer. Back to that Netflix documentary, one of the main claims in it was something like 97% of people that have cancer also have root canals, but they didn't 
didn't back it up with any proof or research. What about the millions of people who don't have root canals and still have cancer? Or the people who have had root canals that don't have cancer? There are no studies to be found showing any percentages of anything regarding this nature. This is a good example of correlation without causation. One of the best analogies of this, one of my favorite analogies of this is people at the beach. So say 97% of people attacked by a shark ate ice cream that same day at the beach. The ice cream in their stomachs did not cause the shark attack. It just so happened that lots of people at the beach were eating ice cream, especially if there's an ice cream stand at that beach, right? Same with the documentary. It's just another example of correlation without causation. Saying that 97% of people that have cancer also have root canals, there is no data to back that up. If we want to talk more about data, modern research has actually shown that patients who had multiple root canal treatments had a 45% lower risk of cancer. So the data we have actually shows the opposite of what that documentary was saying. Overall, removing tooth infections through root canal treatments can actually make your overall body healthier because you're not leaving an infected tooth in your mouth. Rotten infected teeth left in the body can spread disease. Whereas root canal treated teeth have had their infections removed, thus lowering the chance of disease spreading throughout your body. There's a lot of information out there. So if you ever have specific questions about your dental health, my best advice is to always consult with your dentist and or your dental hygienist to determine what's best for your individual mouth. Lots of misinformation starts because of word of mouth, firsthand stories, and these firsthand personal stories can be compelling even if they don't represent the broader reality. If someone believes that a root canal caused an issue for them, they might share that story contributing to the myth. And now more and more people are sharing that one story that may not be based on reality. When people use firsthand stories to prove their point versus evidence-based research, there's so many variables and factors to take into account. Correlation without causation happens. Confirmation bias happens. You cannot hear a firsthand story and call it a fact. Just because something happened to one person doesn't mean it will happen to you. There are way too many variables to take into account. Also, without a strong background in science, it can be challenging to differentiate between credible scientific studies and pseudoscience online. This can lead to public confusion on what to believe, especially if the pseudoscience confirms existing biases or fears. Overall, I hope this video helped clear up some of these root canal myths. I will link all my sources below. And let's remember to be nice to each other in the comments section. We're trying to help improve dental public health here. We're not trying to get into cyber arguments. If you have any individual questions, comments, concerns, please talk with your individual dental provider and share this video if you think it will help someone. And if it helped you, please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Thank Thank you to the YouTube members here and the Patreon members supporting this channel and supporting dental health awareness. If you want to join the fight in making sure evidence-based dental health information is being shared online, become part of our Teeth Talk community. The links to join are in the description box below. And until then, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.